Hey guys, this is New Sensei. Today we're going to cover a very frequently asked question about arrows, and that is how long should your arrows be? There is a very short and straightforward answer. The rule of thumb is that you take your draw length and you add one to two inches or one and a half inches longer than your draw length. It's that easy. However, you probably want to know why. And in fact, getting it exactly right doesn't actually matter that much and depends on what you need that length for. Let's go through why length is important. Now here, I've got three different arrows at three different lengths. I have my Eastern ACEs, which are currently around 26 inches. I have my uh, Eastern X10s, which are around uh, 27 and a half inches. And I have my uh, Gold to Traditionals, which are uncut uh, and are currently at 30 inches. Now all these arrows, I can shoot just fine. So what's the deal with the length? The most obvious reason is safety. I'll explain why very easily. Now, if your arrow is shorter than your draw length, then what will happen is that the arrow will come off the wrist. And that is really bad. If the arrow comes off the wrist at full draw, then it won't shoot safely. You may shoot yourself in the hand. That is obviously not desirable. So you want to make sure that the arrows are long enough so that you can pull back without fear of the arrow coming off. If you do end up with arrows that are too short, and that may be the case if you're doing a session at a club for example, then you still can shoot short arrows, but you have to change your form. An example of this might be uh, shooting at a half draw or a nearly full draw, or maybe bending your arm and pulling it back to your anchor point, but these things are less than desirable. It can be done if you have to shoot a short arrow, but if you can choose your arrows, you want an arrow that you can pull at full draw without the arrow slipping off the rest. It is simply a safety issue. Now here I've got my gold to traditionals, and as you can see, these arrows will not come off the rest anytime soon. That's you can see it's quite a long way from the edge of the riser. And you might think, well, that looks really silly. And it kind of does. But the reality is, these arrows work just fine. And that's the thing about length. While there is a rule of thumb of adding one and a half inches to your draw length, unless you need the length for a specific reason, you don't have to follow it strictly. These arrows will fly Fine. I've used these arrows with my Samix Age as well as the um, Bear Minute Man, and they come out really well. So I don't really have much reason to cut them down, but other people might. One of the main reasons is if you're shooting Olympic freestyle. Now, with the Olympic freestyle classification, you can use a clicker. The clicker is a strip which goes over the arrow and it acts as a draw length indicator. So when the archer pulls back, they know exactly the right length to let go. It clicks and you release. So getting the length right is very important because if the arrow is too long, you can't use the clicker. There are ways to use an extra long arrow. You can get sight mounted clickers or clicker extenders, but for the most part, within practical reason, you need to get the length within this distance so that you can use the clicker properly. With a traditional bare bow, you obviously don't have a clicker, so this isn't as important. However, there's a more advanced factor in determining arrow length, and that's your tune. The length of the arrow will affect the arrow's spine. What happens is that if you cut an arrow shorter, the spine becomes stiffer. You can see here there are two very different arrows. I've got the Eastern ACE 720s and the uh, Gold Tier Traditionals 500 spine. Now the length is already a huge difference, but what you might find is that this particular arrow, the Eastern 720 ACE, has a certain amount of flex here, that's your spine. Now, if I did the same thing for the longer uh, gold tips, the 500 is meant to be a stiffer spine. But because this is an uncut 30 inch arrow, you might find that this is actually softer. So these shorter arrows may come out of my bow better than these arrows, depending on my draw weight. So 
if you need to tune your bow or tune your arrows then cutting down the arrows will make them stiffer do bear in mind that if you cut an arrow you can't uncut it so you have to be mindful of chopping off too much that is in fact what I'm currently doing with my Eastern Extents. Um, we're chopping off about a centimetre each time or half an inch each time and we're trying to tune and get it right because if we stuff up and we cut too much we've wasted a very expensive arrow. So that's one of the reasons why length matters. Uh, if you're doing some fine tuning and you need to get both the length right for your clicker and your draw length and you're trying to tune, then these things do matter as well. Um, otherwise, for some people, you might be very specific on your arrow balance or front of center. So having an arrow too long may upset the flight of the arrow, the tune of your bow. So these things will also be factors in your arrow length. That said, getting the tune and your arrow length correct is partly trial, error and experience. Uh, for the most part, if you're an absolute beginner, you don't need to get arrow length specifically correct. You can just follow the draw length plus one and a half inches. Now, this doesn't mean your arrows will be perfect. It does mean that they will work for you. They will be shot safely from your bow without falling off and you have the length to work with. Um, you don't necessarily have a perfect tune and that might mean cutting your arrows further or going through the extra step and buying different arrows. What may happen, especially if you're training with a coach, the coach might suggest that you buy new arrows but leave them uncut. This is because you can cut the arrows to match your tune but you can't change an arrow that is too short. By the way, because people will likely ask, um, you can order arrows pre-cut. The store will do it for you for a fee. Uh, some might do it for free if it's a big order. Um, otherwise, if you're doing it by yourself, you will need to use an arrow saw. Um, some people have asked about using hacksaws. It's not the best idea. Uh, using a high speed arrow saw will get a cleaner cut. Because bear in mind you are cutting through aluminium and carbon fiber. So having an arrow saw is the easiest and safest option. Um, you might not be able to buy one, but if you're working with a club, then you might be able to use their arrow saw. Anyway, this is New Sensei. Hope this answers a few questions. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.